Hey guys, welcome to a brand new video on my channel, Meg's Movies. If you are new to this channel, this is basically where I talk to you guys about my passion for movies. That goes from collections, to hauls, to reviews, and to today's video. So let's get straight into it. Welcome to the new series on my channel, Original vs Remake. So on this new series, this is basically where I'll be pinning the original film and the remake film together. This will be where I'll be pinning the original movie and the remake movie against each other and giving you my personal opinion of which one I think was better, the original movie or the remake. Okay, and today's first match we have on the left side, we have the original Ron Perlman Hellboy. And to the right, fighting to see if they're going to be the better movie, is the David Harbour remake of Hellboy. Okay, so first off, I just want to say I did put a poll up on my social medias for you guys to pick which ones you thought were the better one. And the overall winner for that round was the original Ron Perlman Hellboy. So already has one mark on his side. But. These next five rounds are going to be my personal opinions for the movies and at the end of each round I'll be scoring each film, like which one I think was the best one of that round, and then at the end of five rounds I will then be totalling them up and then that will be revealing the winner of the match. So let's get into it with round one, cast. Okay so we're going to talk about the original Hellboy first starring Ron Perlman. I absolutely love Ron Perlman. I think he made Hellboy his own. I also love the other actors in the film as well. Um, definitely good choices, I must admit. Okay, so now we're going to talk about David Harbour's remake of Hellboy. Not going to lie, when I first heard that David Harbour was going to be doing Hellboy, I was a little bit, eh, is he going to be good? I mean, he's good in Stranger Things, but the thing is, I hadn't seen him in anything else, so I was like... And plus, also, I love Ron Perlman as Hellboy, so it was quite difficult for me to see it. But, not gonna lie, upon second viewing, he actually does make a good Hellboy. He does have quite a few good lines, and also, I feel like... I feel like the movie script couldn't give him enough to show off his character a lot more. Um... So the other character, the other cast as well, Mila Djokovic, Djokovic, who plays the villain in the movie, um, she was good. Unfortunately, even though I've seen the movie twice, I actually cannot remember the other actors in the film. Um, one of them does ring a bell from Lost, um, and that's the cheater character guy. I can't remember his name, but for me, it was. I feel like. If the script had been a little bit better for David Harbour and he had a bit more good lines, I reckon he would have done a better job. So unfortunately, at the end of that round, the point will be going to the original Hellboy. So at the moment, as it stands, it is now 2 nothing to the original Hellboy. Round 2, characters. Okay, and starting with the characters of the original Hellboy, I absolutely loved him. I loved Hellboy. I loved Abe Sapien. He was such a good character. And especially in the sequels, I feel like their story got a bit more opened up. Um, I also liked Liz. And I liked... Um, I'll put his face up on the screen. I can't remember his name. <laughs> but he was good in the film as well. Um, I loved the father figure as well. He was a good character. I feel like... In the original film, this, like, the original film, I felt explored more of the characters. And, as I say, like I said, I think Abe Sabian is my second favourite of the original film. And, yeah, I feel like they were very well introduced, very well developed. And especially when you got, like I said, to the sequel, I think it got developed even more. But, yeah, overall, I did love the characters in this movie. And it was nice to get a sequel so I can see their characters' storylines continue. Okay, and now on to the remake, the characters from that movie. Um, like I said, David Harbour, I feel like if he had a bit more 
like the script was a little bit for a little bit better for him i reckon he could have made the character a little bit more of his own uh, i felt like his character was kind of a repeat of ron perlman's which is why i feel like it just didn't seem like his own um to be honest i'm not gonna lie uh when i first watched this movie i completely forgot who all the other characters were uh, upon second watching my memory's not gotten all that better like i remember the villain a bit more now um the characters they were good i'm i, I liked the alice character when she could speak to the dead um but the other ones like the pig monster thing i wasn't sure if i liked him um yeah with this one say so again it comes down to the script you know the characters weren't all that developed that much i felt like the backstory of alice and hellboy was a little bit weird but then what i have to admit is i've never read the comics so i don't know if that's a comic book storyline from the hellboy series or if the original was uh, but for me for some reason only two characters really stand out for me in the remake compared to the original as you could tell from my speech so yeah unfortunately that will be another point for hellboy so that now means three nil to the original hellboy um clearly he's taking the lead right now but say so we've still got a couple of rounds to go but who knows maybe the remake might come up sneakily and win round three the plot okay so with hellboy's plot the original i loved it i could understand it it flowed easily i i could understand each little bit i liked the backstory of hellboy as well um i think it was very well done wasn't overdone i don't know what else i can say about the plot really for hellboy the original say so it was it was just a good plot and if i can understand it and if it flows for me that's definitely a big one for me because if it's something that I don't understand or if it's something that I feel drags then it's not then I'm not really going to be into it that much okay and then the plot for the remake it started off really well I got into it but then it started bringing in a bit more of Merlin and King Arthur and I was just a bit like mm, I was like that seems a bit a bit too far-fetched to be doing that um saying so, then like there were so many subplots like with hellboy and his father then there was alice and hellboy's backstory which like i said in the previous round i didn't really understand how that works but if that's the kind of backstory you want to do that's fine um i'd say it's just i felt like there was too, like the plot was just too all over the place for me and it was trying to understand it and I upon second viewing I understand it I understood it a little bit more but at the exact same time when I watched the first one when well when I watched the second viewing at the exact same time in both viewings I was like okay this plot's getting a little bit too big a bit too weird and it's not really going with the plot of like there was no like main plot if you get what I mean like nothing really focused on it it was just this 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 and this I feel like if it focused on one maybe had a second subplot somewhere I think it would have been fine but it's got too many subplots too many backstories to go from I think it's one of those films that could have done with a couple of sequels and spread them out um they <laughs> They did leave a couple of cutscenes at the end of the movie, and by a couple I mean like about two or three, and they all hinted at a sequel, but um, I have a funny feeling we might not get a sequel either A for a while or B ever. Okay, so as you can tell, yet again another point will be going to the original Hellboy, which now makes it 4-0 to the uh, remake. I mean clearly we can see a winner but I still have but I still have two more rounds to go and a little bit more to say about each movie so even though we can clearly see who the winner is 
we're just gonna keep going anyway. Round four, production. Okay, so with the production of the original Hellboy, the effects are amazing, the CGI is amazing, the makeup is amazing, it, it's aged wonderfully, like none of the effects look bad. I loved Abe Sapien's like makeup and his effects, I thought they looked quite good. And I loved Liz's flames, like when she flamed up and she was all blue. I thought that was really cool to see. And yeah, there's nothing else really I can say. Just amazing, amazing, amazing. Okay, with the remake, um, some of it looked good when it was physical effects, but unfortunately when it was CGI, I was not a huge fan of them. Like, I loved the, the actual makeup of Baba Yaga. I think I'm saying that right. Baba Yaga, I'll put a picture there. I thought that looked quite good. Um, David Harbour's makeup could have been done a little bit better. Um, especially compared to Ron Perlman's. But, say, I, I think it looked better when the effects were there. When they were CGI, they were not as good as I thought they were going to be. Especially um, the cheetah. The guy cheetah thing. It's a bit like, you could definitely tell it's CGI and especially with the modern times now, it's like, surely CGI would have made some of the effects from the old one better, but to me, the original movie did a lot more practical effects than what the new one did, and I think that's where the new one, sorry, the camera died. <laughs> uh, but yeah, for me, I think that's where the effects went wrong in the new one is that they stepped away pretty much from all the practical frecks and just went for CGI. Okay, and <laughs> we may as well just say no, it's now 5-0 to the original Hellboy. Um, we've got one more round left. Okay, and the final round, trailers. Okay, so with the original Hellboy trailer, I gave it a rewatch and I think it was very well done. I don't think it revealed too much plot. It gave enough away so that you could understand what was going to happen in the film. Didn't give like the ending away or anything like that. I loved the music, I loved the title cards during the trailer. Uh, definitely got you hyped up for the film. Rewatching the original trailer, it was quite good to see it, especially since I hadn't watched it for years and years and years. <laughs> okay, and for the remake trailer, um, I feel like it gave too, I think it gave a little bit too much away at certain points. Like, there were certain things they could definitely cut out, so it would have been a bit more of a surprise, especially with what was happening at the end of the movie. I feel like they revealed a bit too much in the trailer. But, what I will say is that the trailer for me, when I saw it, obviously was the first time to see David Harbour as Hellboy. I was like, okay, he could do it good. He could do just as good as Ron Perlman. Um, say so he looked good in the trailers. Like, his acting, the, the scenes he had in the trailers, the lines. Um, but unfortunately, just watching the entire film kind of just dragged it down a little bit. Um, but the trailer did get me hyped up to see him as Hellboy, which I very much appreciate, especially since when I first heard that he was playing the character, I was a bit apprehensive. But after seeing the trailer, I definitely was a bit more, yay! I was like, that definitely looks like he could do it. Like, he could pass for Hellboy. Okay, so at the very end of that, it is six nil to the original Hellboy. So clearly, our winner today is the original Hellboy. I absolutely love the original Hellboy. I cannot get enough of this film. Um, say, so, in fact, I think it was one of the first superhero movies that I'd seen. And, yeah, Ron Perlman did such a good job as Hellboy. The characters and the actors and the rest of the film were amazing. I can't get over it. So even re-watching it now, after not watching it for so long, it's... Honestly, it still lives up. It doesn't seem aged. And, yeah, so... Congratulations to the original Hellboy. You are my choice of what was better. Okay, so that was my new series. Um, I hope you enjoyed it. Uh, so I will be test, run it, test running it for the first couple of episodes where I can improve, where I can do better. 
but it's my own personal opinion. If you like the remake, you like the remake. To me, the remake was good, but it was just not as good as the original. And, yeah, I just... This is a series that I've been thinking about doing for a while. I've always wanted to sort of like pin originals and remakes against each other and see which one I think is better. But do let me know down below in the comments what your favourite one out of the two is. Is it the original or is it the remake? But also if you are new to this channel do hit that subscribe button if you did enjoy this video and you want to keep seeing my other original versus remake videos or you want to see what else I do. Uh, do give the video a thumbs up if you did enjoy it. Please, please, in the comments down below as well, do let me know what you think. I'm hoping this is something original. I have tried to look on YouTube and I haven't seen many videos of this. So I'm hoping this is something I can make for my channel and that you guys enjoy. But, yeah, I will see you guys in my next matchup. See you then. Bye!